Hey there guys and gals, it's me Norex and welcome back to Beginner C++ Programming. So in this video I will be talking about the solution to the problem we had in the last one, which was sum of 1 to 100 printed. Okay, or why did I write it like this? So print the sum of 1 to 100, something like that. Okay, and we gotta use while loops. It's quite easy to use that. So Obviously, we need an iterator to iterate through iteration, no, iterator, like this. I think I wrote iteration as well there, or iterate sure, I think, I don't know, in the last video. So, we need to initialize it to zero, obviously, we need another while loop, while iterator is less than 100, or less than or equal to 100. Now, let's we don't give a damn about this one, we could just do one more iteration. So let it be 0 or 1, we don't care. Now, we should be able to calculate the sum of this. So, in order to do that, there should be another variable that could hold the sum of each number added to the next one. What I mean by that is, we need this guy right here, which is 0. It's In its current state, it's 0, so we use sum right here. Well, the first thing we need to do is obviously add one to the iterator so we don't come up with an infinite loop. Like There are cases where you want infinite loops, but there are also cases where you don't want infinite loops. This is obviously not one of those cases. Now, so we add the iterator, okay? Just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so each time that this while loop happens, we're adding 1 to the iterator. Now, with that being said, I need to add the current value of the iterator, which is 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, and then all the way up to 100, to the sum of all the values. It's currently 0, it'll be 1, next it'll be 3, next 1 it'll be, I don't know, 3 by times 3 plus 4, 7, and so on. So all I need to do is equal sum plus iterator. Or, easier than that, I can just say plus equals iterator. And that's basically it. C out, sum, std and l. And if I do that, the value is 5151. Quite easy, quite simple. I can also do it for 3. Just 3 is 10. It's kind of obvious, so if I do something like this, if I do 1 plus 2 plus 3, will just be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, oh, sorry, so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. This will give me 1 plus 2, which is you know, 3, that's 6, and that's 10. Now, here's the question. Why did it do 4 numbers? Why did it give me 10 when I gave it 3? Well, the obvious answer is that it starts from 0, adds 1, so if I want to trace it, it'll be 1, add 1 to the sum, sum is 1. It'll be 2 in the next step, add 1 to that, it'll be 3. It'll be uh, 3 in the next one, add 1 to that, it'll be uh, 3 times, 3 plus, what was it, 3 plus 3, which would be 6. So this is as much as it should have gone, but here's the thing. We said it should be less than or equal to 3. All right, so less than with zero means four times, because okay, zero, one, two, three, or equal to, right? So the next one is four, we add four to the six, which is 10. So even though I said three here, it starts counting from zero, and it's less than or equal to three, obviously, so we get the first four numbers. Now, the only reason for that is this. If I take this out right here, you see that I will get 6. So we do have this equal here because your homework was to get 1 through 100. We need all of it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all of it. But there's an issue here. Doing this will actually calculate it to uh, 101. Let's say if iterator is 101, we did C out, print it to you took a wrong step, bro. And we do std and l. So if you do that, you took a wrong step, bro. So we are adding the 101 to the iterator. And that's the entire issue. Okay? 
What I need to do here is we either do this at the end of our thing, or we just take this guy out. But we don't really need to do that, so we just, uh, you know, just to be clear, we do it at the end. This is a good practice to always iterate, always add one to the iterator at the end of the thing. I just put it here so that, you know, so that I could just explain this guy to you. So that you took a wrong step, bro. That's why we put the iterator usually at the end. Not all the time, you know, just usually. Now, if I run it, I didn't take a wrong step. It's 50-50, which is the ultimate answer that you should have gotten. If you got 50-50, then you're right. Okay, and that's it for this video. I don't think it was you know, too hard to do. It was just a simple thing. The only note, the only point that you should have been careful about was that we need a second variable. We also need to put this guy at the very end. And this is um, not you know, usually the case, not all the time. Anyways, that's it for this video. And uh, if you enjoyed it, do leave a like. If you have any questions, opinions, comments, whatever, do leave a comment. And uh, if you really enjoyed this video, please subscribe. That would help a lot. And thank you very much. See you in the next one.